I feel like I've been wearing this a lot lately. But this one is well deserved. The Boston Red Sox capitalize on the million mistakes and the million opportunities that the Blue Jays just squander, whether they give the Red Sox, whether they squander golden opportunities, costly errors, whatever the heck you want to say. Just an absolutely horrendous ball game in literally every aspect of the game today. We can start right in the first inning, right? Well, top of the first inning, you see some good stuff. Tasker Hernandez singles, Bo Bichette scores. You, you, you get a 1-0 lead. By the way, the Jays get walked off 6-5 over the Red Sox, dropped to 31-30 on the year. And then the bottom half of the inning, yes, it doesn't hurt you. But you have a chance to hose Verdugo out at first. You have him basically in a rundown while Simeon throws it in the dirt. Rowdy can't pick it. Verdugo ends up at third base in the play. Luckily, Stripling gets out of it. No damage done, but a terrible error from uh, Marcus Simeon on that play. Top of the second inning, he gets him two out offense. Teoscar Bobachet, it's an RBI single. Reese McGuire scores. Teoscar Hernandez is an RBI single. Bo scores. You got a 3 0 lead. And against this really good offense in the Boston Red Sox, even without Xander Bogarts, you got to get a ton of runs. They can score at will. Bottom half of the inning, you know, Dalbeck hits a, hits a meatball deep and gone to straightaway center field, making it a 3 1 game. It's a solo bomb. Stripling's been good to this point. He was great after that. Fantastic. Top of the sixth inning, Vladdy hits an absolute moonshot. Simeon scores in the play. He got a 5-1 lead. You're feeling pretty good. You're in the sixth inning. You got a four-run lead. However, Jays fans, we all know in the back of our minds, the bullpen is awful. So we need more runs. But after the Vladdy home run, the Jays are like, yeah, we're just not going to hit with runners in scoring position at all anymore. But we're not even going to get to that just yet. Bottom half of the sixth inning. You know, they start to hit uh, Stripling around a little bit. Renfro with an RBI single. Verdugo scores. They pull him out of the ball game. And in comes Tyler Chatwood. Holy smokes. He was awful. He had one good inning what, in his last outing. And then he faced one guy in another, in another outing and did good there. And instantly we think, hey, he's maybe found himself again. Well, the answer to that is no. He went out there today, didn't even get an out. He hit two guys. He walked one, and he threw a wild pitch. The next two runs they score was a bases loaded walk to Marvin Gonzalez. Renfro scores. It's a 5-3 game. Then on a pass ball, Vasquez sco scores. Then he hits a guy to load the bases again. I mean, just what the hell has happened to this guy? Now the base loaded him. I think it was Tim Mays had to come out and he found a way to get out of it. But in all of our minds, we're thinking it's a one-run game against the Red Sox in Fenway. Our bullpen is awful. This is a disaster waiting to happen. You need to tack on more runs. I don't know if it was the seventh and the, and, and the top of the ninth inning or if it was the eighth or the ninth inning, but either way, you know, you have a chance to tack on some more runs. They get guys at second and third with one out. Biggio strikes out. Adams strikes out, unfortunately. You know, and then the, and then in the bottom half of the eighth inning, Arroyo hits a solo bomb off of Carl Edwards Jr. And people are going to be like, Charlie, why'd you use him there? Who else do we have? Well, the least. Do we really trust this guy? Like, I understand people love just ripping the manager when things go wrong, but what the hell is he going to do? Like, honestly, I'm trying to think of it from his standpoint. You know, you're trying to get something out of Chatwood because it's like he was so dominant before and you used him so much before because you needed it. Now your bullpen sucks. You need something. So you try and put something together for him and he can't do it. All he needed to do in that inning was get one out and he could not do it. You know, and then Carl Edwards Jr. came in to get, I think he struck out, uh, I forgot who he struck out, to end, uh, end a really tough inning. And great. And they throw him out there for the, for the next half inning because you need to get some guy rolling a little bit. And he's got some good stuff, 94 mile an hour fastball. He's got uh, the breaking ball is a lot of movement. Problem, when you hang the damn thing, it's going to get crushed. And Arroyo crushed it deep and gone. And we're tied at five. And instantly I'm sitting here like this game is just like, we are destined to lose this ball game. Toronto fans, we cannot have nice things. 
We, we're just not allowed to, right? And, and people before people say, well, you got a 2019 championship. The Toronto Maple Leafs suck. We all know that. Or we all know the fiasco they're going through. The Toronto Blue Jays go out there and they sign George Springer to 150, 160, whatever the hell the contract he got. The guy's played like four games. We can't have nice things. But it's okay. It's still a tied ball game. Top of the ninth inning. You got the bases low. Yeah, or, or, well, I guess you had guys at second or first and third with one out. You just need to pick, get the flipping ball in the air or do something with it. Jonathan Davis came in to pinch run uh, for, for what's his face? Uh, Rowdy Telez. And, and, and he takes off because he's got to try and stay out of the double play. Problem is, Guriel swings at a ball at his feet. Face and it wasn't a fastball. I, it was a slider up, and it was never a strike, and it was never going to be a strike. And he swings through it, and he strikes out. Then they walk Biggio to load the bases for Riley Adams. You can't fault the kid. I mean, he's just it's like his fourth game in the big leagues, and here the bases loaded, two out situation, and a tie ball game at Fenway Park. He, 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 what do you expect? And he hit the ball all right, but it was just it, was, it wasn't enough in the gap. He didn't get enough juice on it, but. You know, and then the base running mistake from Marcus Simeon getting picked off at first. It's like, man, it's the simple nonsense. It's just, are you going to steal? If you're not going to steal, make sure you get back to the base. Then in the bottom of the ninth inning, Bo Jack ground ball guy, pulls Gurriel off the base, and the runner is safe. Problem, he goes to second, and then Verdugo hits a walk-off single. I mean, it was just a flat-out terrible game. Stripling, his line doesn't suggest that he pitched well, but he was awesome. Look, we have Tyler Chatwood going out there and walking the bases loaded and, and, and allowing a pass ball. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, your numbers aren't going to look great because, because of that nonsense. So I don't fault Stripling at all for this game. If there's any positive, it's the team got hits and Stripling did well. But the problem, the Jays could not bring home runs when they needed to build on a lead in the latter half of the innings when the momentum had shifted 100%. It was a flat-out terrible game. I mean, look, the Jays had 16 hits today, but they only scored five runs. They hit missiles off the green monster. It was just long single after long single after long single. It was like, oh, my God. And the bullpen sucked. I mean, there's probably so many more things I could sit here and say what, what just horrendous things that happened today. You know, I think I covered most of them. There might be one or two more, but my goodness, that was awful. Marcus Simeon, two for four in the game with a run scored in the walk, but he committed an error and got picked off late in the game. I, I, I think it was like, what, a guy at first and nobody out, or maybe a guy at first and one out, and you get picked off in a later half. You just cannot allow that to happen. Vladdy went three for four, uh, had a couple RBIs, obviously a run scored and a walk on his two-run bomb. He had a great night at the plate, uh, didn't play the field, so I guess he didn't do anything bad today. Teoscar Hernandez went two for five with a couple RBIs. And I guess I guess maybe he didn't do anything bad in the field today. But again, the clutch knocks didn't come through. Not his fault. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. went three for five in the game. Looked, or that's no, sorry, that's Randall Grichuk. Grichuk went three for five. He played fine today. Uh, fine. Great, great stuff for Grichuk. But Lourdes Gurriel Jr. went two for five today. And I don't care. I, I don't care that he went two for five. Numbers are beautiful, but if you can't get a clutch knock or even put the ball in play, because that would have been ball four, and it would have loaded the bases for Kevin Biggio with only one out. Do I trust Biggio? Nah, not really, but you would have had the bases loaded with less than two out, so you, they can't put Biggio anywhere. They have to pitch him. It's a righty on a lefty. It's a lot better situation than having a rookie who's played four games in the damn league to go out there with the bases loaded and two out and try and get a clutch knock. Plus, Dalbeck missed that pop-up. You got a second life. You still couldn't capitalize. There are so many things in this game that you could look at and say, awful, awful, awful. I mean, it was just terrible. And, and losing these games to, to a divisional team, I mean, it just it hurts even more. And all Boston fans are going to be on here laughing their guts out, and that's fine. I'm used to Boston fans doing that to Toronto teams and Toronto fans because that's what they do. Um, but it's just... It's awful, man. It really is. Let's get to the pitching stats, I guess, real quick. Uh, Ross Strother went five and two thirds, allowed five hits, four runs, six strikeouts, and walked two. Again, you know, he wasn't the problem today. So I, he pitched fantastic. He didn't deserve the fate that he got statistically. And Tyler Chatwood, as I mentioned, didn't get a guy out. Walked two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Walked one, 
He hit two guys and threw a wild pitch. Awful, man. It is garbage. And Tim Mays went out there, went an inning, allowed one hit. He did a great job. He did a great job in his inning of work, did his job. And Carl Edwards Jr., he went an inning and a third, gave up a meatball, and gave up a solo shot to tie the ball game in the eighth inning. Went an inning and a third, allowed one hit, one run, and struck out three. Three strikeouts are great, but you allowed a home run. I don't care. Rafael Dolis went, uh, was obviously in the bottom of the ninth inning because I guess, you know, Romano's not ready or not available. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, he went, he went an inning, allowed one hit, one run. Obviously, it was an earned run because of the Boba Shet air at shortstop. At, it's, I don't know. When it rains, it pours, right, guys? Am I saying? It's a, game two of the four game set goes tomorrow afternoon to 4 10 first pitch. Steven Matz versus Nick Pavetta. I just don't know what to expect anymore, man. I, I've tried to just keep my patience, keep my cool with this team because they're young and, they're, and they've been playing all right considering the, the schedule they've had and whatnot. But a game like this, you got to have this game. And if Bozox are going to fans, fans are going to say, well, we won this game. The Jays gift wrapped it. I'm sorry. If Tyler Chatwood could throw strikes, he probably would allow three runs in that inning. If we had a half decent bullpen, we would have won this game. You know what I mean? I got nothing else to say. I, I let it all out. I'm sweating underneath the bucket. Whatever. All right. So, you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. You enjoyed the video and not the game today. If you're a Jays fan, but if you're a Red Sox fan and you love the game today, which you obviously did, smack the like button. to appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you've not done, done, if you've not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game. I was going to say, what'd you like? Well, I guess it was Vladdy. I guess that's one thing. But what'd you not like? Let me know in the comments. Twitter is down below for myself. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff. The Instagram link is down below, so follow up there. If you have not done so already, and I will talk to you guys, well, I guess tomorrow, Jay's edition, it's 410 first pitch. Steven Matz, Nick Pavetta. Game two of the four game set against the Red Sox at Fenway Park. I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's a win. Doesn't have to be pretty. I just want to talk about a W. Like, <laughs> that's all I want to do, all right? So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and my yelling. We'll talk to you guys then.